rationalize the denominator, and simplify. x to the third y squared over the square root of x to the third y to the eleventh. What I need to do is to figure out what I can multiply the numerator and denominator so that I can get rid of the square root. Well, notice that I have x to the third and y to the eleventh. What I need to do is to get these to be some multiple of two because even though it's not written there, that is a, there's a two right there. So in order to do that, I could get that to be x to the fourth if I multiplied by x. And I could go for x, y to the twelfth by multiplying y to the one. Well, if I do the denominator, I have to do the numerator. So now, on top I would have x cubed y squared times the square root of xy, and on bottom I would have the square root of x to the fourth y to the twelfth. Now the reason that I wanted that was because now I can reduce that denominator. Again, this is the square root, so there's a little 2 there. The square root of x to the fourth is going to be x squared, and the square root of y to the twelfth would be y to the sixth. Now I just have left of reducing these. x to the third over x squared is going to be an x to the first. y to the squared on top over y to the sixth on bottom. I'll have a y to the fourth on the denominator and then I still have my square root of xy. So x times the square root of xy all over y to the fourth.